Hello friends if you are looking for different type of login form for your website, so here we will make login form by using Bootstrap Collapse with PHP Ajax jQuery. When you click on button then at that time login form will be visible on web page. First of all what is Bootstrap Collapse? Bootstrap Collapse is very useful in web development. By using Bootstrap Collapse can show and hide many large amount of content on web page. So here we will make login form under Bootstrap Collapse so login form will not be show on web page but it will be visible after click on button then after it will visible on web page after this we can fill form and we can log into site. Now let us start writing code. This is our testing database and in this we have one admin login table with admin name and admin password fields and in this table we have already inserted one record with admin name is equal to admin and admin password is equal to password. This is our index.php page and on this page we have used JavaScript library jQuery on this page and we have also used Bootstrap library on this page so we can use functionality of both the library on this page. Then after we have defined button for visible login form, so for this we have write button type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to login it is equal to login class is equal to button button success here we have also add data toggle attribute is equal to collapse and data target attribute is equal to hashtag login collapse and button text login. This way we have create simple button but here collapse class indicates a collapsible element. This is the content that will be shown or hidden with a click of a button and data target attribute connect button with collapsible content. Now we have defined collapsible content, by default, the collapsible content is hidden so here which we have defined which will be hidden on web page it will be visible only click on button. So here we have write division with it attribute is equal to login collapse and class is equal to collapse and we have add set some style property of this division tag. This way we have defined collapsible content. Under this division tag we have first defined text box for entering username. So here we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to username it is equal to username and class is equal to form control. Then after we want to define text box for entering password. So here we have write input type is equal to password with attribute name is equal to password it is equal to password and class is equal to form control. After this we want to define one login button, when we have click on that button then after we can verify user login information, so for button we have write button type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to login button it is equal to login button and class is equal to button button warning and in button text we have write login. So friends on web page we can see the login form but when we have click on login button then after we can see login form on web page. This way we can use bootstrap collapse for login form, by default collapse content hidden and it can be only visible by click on button. Under login form we will first field username and password field and then after click on login button and then after we can validate login information. Here we will use Ajax jQuery for login. So we have go to index.php page and here we have first jQuery code on modal login form login button which has it is equal to login button. Here we have write dollar login button it with click event with function. So when we have click on modal login button then this code will execute. Under this event we have first write variable username is equal to dollar username with val method. Here username is the id of username text box and value of that text box we have store into this username variable. Then after we have write variable password is equal to dollar password with val method. Here password is the id of password text box and by using val method we have store that text box value under password variable. 
Now we have write of statement with condition like variable username is not equal to blank and value of password is not equal to blank. Here this condition will if both variable has value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it executes else block of code. Suppose both or one of the variable has no value the it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert with message with text like both fields are required. But suppose both variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write ajax request and in this request we have write url option set to action.php page. Here we will send request to this action.php page. Then after we have write method option set to post method, here we will use post method for send request to server. Then after we have write data option with data like username and password, we will send this data to the server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function will be called if it sends successfully request to server and this function we receive data from server which is store under data argument. We will write code after we have write php login code under action.php page. So we have move write php code under action.php page and on this page first we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Then after we have want to make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to misclick connect function with four argument like host name set to local lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. This way we have make database connection. After this we have write if statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar post username variable. This function will check if value of this variable set or not, if value is set then it will execute if block of code. Then after we have write dollar username variable is equal to misclear escape string function. Under this function we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar post username variable. This function will escape special characters from a string for use in an SQL statement. After this we have write dollar password variable is equal to misclear real escape string function under this function we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar post password variable this function will escape special characters from this variable and store clean string into dollar password variable now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from admin login where admin name is equal to dollar username variable and admin password is equal to dollar password variable. This query will verify username and password in admin table. Then after we have write dollar result variable is equal to misclick query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. After this we have write if statement with condition like misclean num rows function with argument like dollar result variable greater than zero. Here this function will return number of rows from dollar result variable and it will check that rows greater than zero or not. If rows greater than zero that means user enter write username and password and number of rows equal to zero that means user enter wrong data. Suppose number of rows greater than zero that means user data are right so it will execute if block of code and under this block we have create one dollar session username variable is equal to dollar post username. Here we have save dollar post username variable value under this dollar session username variable and then after we have write echo yes, this text will be sent to success callback function. But suppose number of rows equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write echo statement no and it will send text to success callback function. 
Now we have moved to success callback function and here we have write if statement with condition like data is equal to null which is received from action.php and here this condition will check if data is equal to null then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write alert message with text like wrong data. But suppose data is equal to yes then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write location.refresh method. This code will refresh page itself. Suppose user enter write username and password and then after page will be reload. After this page reload we want to remove login button and in place of that button we want to show welcome message with username and logout link. So for this first on top of the page we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Then after here we have write of statement with condition like set function with dollar session username variable. This condition will check if value of this session username variable is set or not. If value is set that means user has enter write login information and then after user can see welcome message in replace of login button. So in this block we have write welcome message with username. For display username we have write echo statement with dollar session username variable. This will display welcome message with username on the screen. And below welcome message we want to display logout link so by clicking that link user can logout. So for this we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to hashtag and attribute it is equal to logout and anchor text we have write logout. This way we have write logout link. But suppose value of session username variable is not set then it will execute else block of code and under this block we want to display login button which we have already created. So when user is not logged into system then he can view login button on the screen. Now we want to write code logout from system, so we have go to query code and under this code we have write dollar logout with click event with function. Here logout is the aid of logout anchor tag. Under this first we have write variable action is equal to logout. We will use this variable value under PHP code and action.php page. Then after we have define Ajax request and under this request we have write URL option set to action.php page, method set to post method and we want to send action variable data to the server and lastly under success callback function we want to reload page so here we have write location.reload method, this will reload page after successfully user will log out from system. Now we have moved to action.php page and on this page here we have write if statement with condition like set function with dollar post action variable. This condition will check if value of dollar action variable is set then it will execute if block of code. So under this block we have write unset function and under this function we have write dollar session username variable. This function will destroy value of this dollar session username variable. This way we have removed value of session variable. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Friends you can see that login button the web page when we have click on this login button then bootstrap collapse dialog box has been pop up on the web page and then after we can see login form with fields like username and password when we have enter admin and username and password and password and click on login button then after bootstrap modal has been hidden on web page we can see welcome message with username and below username we can we see logout link when we have click on logout link then we have logout from system and again on screen we can see login button. First we have create one button and then after we have defined one division tag for bootstrap collapse. By using bootstrap collapse that element will be hidden that will be display after clicking on button. 
So under this bootstrap collapse division tag we have the find login form and then after we have write query code on login button click event and then after we have send request to PHP script for verifying user login information by using Ajax method. After validate user information server will send back data to Ajax request. This we have validate user login information. When user enter write data then he can be logged into system and then after he can see the logout link also and by click on logout link he can be logged out from system. For logout we have also used query Ajax code. So this is my video tutorial on how to make log informed by using bootstrap collapse with PHP query Ajax. If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.